Hi everyone, Chris Wallenke here, and I'd like to share some PowerPoint tips with you today regarding the morph transition, using 3D objects, or inserting 3D models into your PowerPoint, and creating animated GIF files from PowerPoint. So to jump right into it, what you see on the screen now is a 3D model on several slides. And what's happening is I've added the morph transition. And what's powerful about the morph transition is it creates this connection between the slides. So let me show you how we can do this. To start with, you go up top on the menu and you click on insert. From there, you can see their shapes, icons, and this 3D model option. Now, you can download many free 3D model options just by Google searching 3D models for PowerPoint, but PowerPoint provides a pretty substantial selection in their library. Uh, let me showcase one of them. This particular 3D model is really popular at the PowerPoint launch for this feature. What it is, is it's not only a 3D model, but it's animated. And I just think it's really cool. It's really impressive that this is PowerPoint and you can add these 3D animation models. So how do we do this? Go back up top, we'll click on insert, we'll click on 3D model. We're gonna use an existing 3D model. We're gonna continue with this space theme, and here you see there's satellites, there's an astronaut, the sun, moon. We're gonna pick the Earth model. So you simply double click, it will insert the model into the slide. Let me delete the prior one. And what we'll wanna do is move this along the horizontal axis to the left. And then to show transitions, on the left panel you right click and you duplicate the slide. So. Now we have two slides. On the second slide, I'm gonna move this over to the middle. There it is, now it's in the center. And I'm gonna right click again on the slide and duplicate that slide. So now we have a third slide. So with these three slides, to add the morph transition, you hold the shift key down on the keyboard and you select the slides where you would want to add the transition. Up top, you click on transition and there's the morph feature. So now we have the morph feature on those slides and I'll show you how it looks. You can feel the object sliding across the screen and the morph connects that, but we can do much more. Because it's a 3D model, I'm gonna click on the center slide and I am going to rotate that. And on the third slide, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try and rotate it even further. I'm not sure if I'm actually rotating the earth in the right direction, but rotating it further and I'm also gonna increase the size of the object for fun. So, the morph transition is already in place. I'm going to make it full screen, and let's see what it does. There's the Earth rotating on the axis, really cool, and there it's rotating further and making it larger. So, uh, how do we save that as an animated GIF? Couldn't be easier. You click on File up top, Save As, and rather than using the default PowerPoint uh, file type, which is PPTX. You go down the list and you'll see there's many file types, including an MP4 and a WMV. Now, you could save your presentation in these formats and then upload it to your social media, such as a, your YouTube channel, but I'm gonna select um, Animated GIF and click on Save. Now, it is a video, so it's gonna take a little bit of time depending on your computer speed and how many slides you have. But once that's done, so I'm doing that real time, and that's how long it took. Here's the GIF. There's the first slide. Here's the first example. Now I could uh, smooth these transitions out. There's a lot of effect options available in PowerPoint. But you can see this is an animated GIF that you could use in Snapchat, etc. Here's the Earth. There's the rotation. And then it grows. Now you could add text and fade in the text while that is happening. Um, just to showcase some more samples and, and even back up, backing up further, here's a PowerPoint slide. It's not a 3D model, it's just multiple slides. And I've saved it as an animated GIF. Um, how you do that, another PowerPoint uh, tip would be is start with the final slide and then delete the lines or objects that you want to delete to show as a transition. So to build it, you actually start in reverse and start with the final. But then you simply save as an animated GIF. And by doing that, you'll be able to use that animated GIF in whatever fashion uh, you'd like to do. 
So that was a good one. I'm going to show you a couple more. Here's another one. This one was from an IT course in an MBA program uh, for IT with a BPMN uh, process flow. And what's powerful when you make it as an automa automated gift is the fact that it's sequential and you can focus the attention of the audience to what you want to show. Um, to show you the last one, it's probably the most basic. It's just a timeline. So uh, we could obviously increase the font and make this far more interesting to look at, but I just wanted to show you, it, it's so easy to create multiple slides in PowerPoint and save as a GIF. So with that, I just wanted to recap what we've done. We go back to the presentation. We've talked about the morph transition. We've used 3D objects and we created animated GIFs. So I wanted to thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. And I hope you try morphing and making an animated GIF with PowerPoint.